Oh man, I'm still trying to find my first one. Yeah, I'm still trying to find my first one. Yeah. Nope. I, I, some of those guys that are posting pictures, I think they're trolling me. <laughs> What the buck is up? Hope you're having a bucket already today. So today, we're out walleye fishing. Alright, we're just Baby, driving at the corner here. So you guys can see right now, I'm just making it on shoreline, just right after work. And I'm trying to get my jiggy session in because I'm still trying to get that first walleye for you guys. So many people have been asking me, have you guys got any fish yet? All this crazy stuff, you know, it's just inboxes are full. You know, I like it, but I haven't got nothing yet. So here is the way for me to tell you is by video. I've been skunked a few times and I've tried for you guys so you guys could just know what the water conditions are what the water temperatures are, what is it like down here on our river. You can see there's not a single person on the shoreline right now. And it's roughly about four o'clock-ish, 4.30, and I'm, I'm just pumped. Water is finally super, super clean. And I've been begging for that for about five weeks. We've had some terrible, terrible conditions. Uh, like, like I said, man, when you guys seen in the last video, we had a crazy mud line out there on the Detroit side where they had like the blue section where it was not that much. And our side was just zero visibility. All that stuff came down from Lake St. Clair and just drifted this way because of the current. We picked it all up. But right now, the wind has calmed down a little bit. We had a few south wind days. And like I said, check this out. What do you guys think? Super blue, right? So here we go. Let's get down there. I'm gonna be jigging a 5 8 using a TFG jigging special rod. And we're gonna try to slam this bottom for that mama. Let's do this. All right, guys. So here another day. Only person on shore right now. Shoreline is totally empty. I'm just gaining off of work. Uh, they're calling for a nice rain front tomorrow, and uh, I'm gonna try to get myself my first walleye of the season. So let's try to do this. I got my TFD rod, the jigging special. Beautiful, beautiful combo. Uh, nice president uh, reel, so I just want to go and try to make it affordable for everyone. Still show everyone you cannot, you don't have to spend a lot to catch some nice fish. It's all about how you feel about fishing, how much you love it, and how much you're willing to learn certain techniques to get what you have to get. So today I'm going to be using a 5 8 chartreuse jig right here and a G baby. I have a few other colors I might try also, but. I'm running an eight pound braid and I'm running straight on right now, no leader. Kind of lazy to tie one on. I should tie one on like I usually do. We got a nice strong west wind coming. You can see it, uh, well, the flags are over there, but in my fishing rod holder, uh, cover, and I can just feel it. The line, my boat, uh, my line bow is just like this right now. So I'm trying to find that bottom, I'm trying to bend this bottom, try to get the first one in. No one's down here. Here's the opportunity to get one. If I do get one, I don't have a net here. So I'm going to try to drag it up on these rocks. And that's how I usually do it. If you can't afford a net, find yourself a spot that you can actually get that fish up first before you start fishing. Because these days, you can't really use everyone's net. You can't just run up there and just grab everyone's net like they usually do. I've had people, I don't even know sometimes, just run up and grab my net just rush and grab it and all of a sudden they don't bring it back so that's why i say if you guys come down to windsor bring your own net just make sure you guys can catch your fish and land your fish be prepared for the moment especially if it's like a 10 pounder you guys want to get that on your shoreline so it's a memory fish you guys don't want to lose that you guys don't want to break any hearts I don't want to break your heart, so I'm just trying to teach you guys the way where you guys can respect everyone down here. But right now, water's super, super clean. Like, 
and this is like the perfect condition right now like you can't ask for anything better we got the overcast skies front coming in tomorrow the west wind we got we got everything high pressure i am still waiting for the first one of the season for myself i've been trying already i probably put a good 10 hours in i've tried when ice was coming down <laughs> So me, I haven't got nothing yet. I have not seen anybody get anything from shore yet. Uh, I've nor I've heard. You guys seen in the last two videos that I've had, um, the water was super, super muddy. It was the east wind, tough conditions. Sometimes it was north. It was freezing cold. Uh, we had rain. We had everything. So here's my opportunity. This is the first time it's been clean in weeks, and I feel really positive right now. I feel confident. I have an opportunity to get one and if I do get one it's gonna be one of those giant 10 pounders because the big mamas come in and uh, they spawn first so like what happens is this is how I feel that walleye work most people think that they're like a, a crappie or a bass so then what they do is they'll dig a bed for instance let me type my drag up when I go for cast so me the big beds certain areas and stuff like that all around this area which is very similar but the walleyes like to use a lot of boulders and shelves on their side now the difference is i think walleyes try to find that certain depth that going to go on a swim up and down the river and when they do that they find that certain depth the reason why is because that depth is holding a certain temperature and that's where they're gonna go and blast their eggs and do what they gotta do and everything and they usually run in streams like a nice row so me when i was on a boat yeah they're spotty everywhere in the river but if you find the right line where the right depth is you will absolutely just run into them and crush them like i'm talking about like couple bounce fish couple bounce fish and then all of a sudden like nine ten minutes later you would have your own limit so would the entire boat like my fastest was I'd say about 10 minutes and that was on shore. I came here, six casts, six fish, and got the hell out. So you guys could do the same thing if you guys listen to that. And like I said, be confident, get out here, test your luck, find that depth, and you guys will get the fish. So let's get to fishing. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. So I just cast it out. As soon as I hit the water, I'm gonna try to teach you guys what I do. Close my bail. I'm just trying to find that bottom, you know what I'm saying? So I like to cast one o'clock because the current goes east to west here, you know? So that we're going to try to drift towards the bridge because that's where the water is going to go. And once I find that bottom, I want to pick up jig, let it hit the bottom, reel up your slack, pick up the jig, reel up your slack, pick up the jig, reel up your slack. And one of these times you're going to pick up that jig and it's going to land right into the big mama's bed. And she's not gonna like it because she's gonna try to protect what's hers you know because it looks like a goby a shiner a, you know anything it could be a perch and that big mama is gonna try to protect what it's got and eat what is there and just absolutely crush it but that's what i'm hoping for right now i might switch like a couple of colors just to find out where i'm at start off with the short juice and gold g baby it's one of my favorite favorite colors it's so bright I mean, it stands out in the water and it works, works really well for me, especially at nighttime. But right now it's uh, overcast. That's it right there. Beautiful color. I'm hoping to catch one of the big, big mamas. So let's continue out here. We got some birds in the sky. That's the first sight of birds for me. They're yeah, right over me. They must see some bait fish or something like that. I don't know. I have not seen any minnows yet, but there you guys go. That's how clean the water is. You guys can see that rock. It tells you something. How clean the water is. Got very clean. Come on, fish. So a lot of people ask, you know, like they even said, that's not a walleye in my pictures and stuff like that. They don't call that a walleye. But there are walleyes. Uh, the only reason why they're so white and so milky, I mean, is the color of the water and the, the the bottom of the river is laid out with limestone which is like a white palish rock you know all the sand all the sediment but limestone is like the most that's down there i've seen some scuba diving scuba diving videos and a lot of people are down there 
just you know, cruising on them. I see limestone under them. There's a sunken ship right past the bridge over there, right past the Bobble Island area. There's a wire where the new bridge is getting put up. And I, and I know there's a sunken ship just around there. Up here, I like fishing up here because there's no islands, nothing in between. They either have to go up or down. That's it. There's no other way. They have to come by you no matter what. So me, I like to choose this spot. It's also close to my home. I can walk down just the hill. I live a few minutes away. And my father used to take me here. This is a great spot. All my buddies are here. This shoreline, this rail is just legendary. Super legendary. Massive fish have came off on the shore. I've seen a 14 pounder from my Uncle Boo. I've seen 13.2 by me. I've seen a 13 by Silky Steve. I've seen 12s, 11s. There's all kinds of giants. You know, but they're rare, rare. So when you get one, cherish it forever. Uh, the last biggest fish that I got was 10 pounds, seven ounces. That's my last largest one. And it's my video P PB. And uh, if you guys want to check that out, check that out. It was such an amazing fish. That happened roughly about three or four years ago. And uh, my buddy Richard Lafrenier is the one that netted it for me. And I'm hoping for the same moment right now, but I don't have a netter. So if I get a 10 pounder, you guys are going to hear some crazy screaming, roaring. Those guys up in the building are probably going to hear me. And uh, I'm probably going to drag in this 10 pounder, you know, hopefully, hopefully on eight pound test like I did last time. You know, on eight pound test, I've actually uh, landed a giant muskie too. One of the fattest muskies I've ever caught. Actually, it was the fattest muskie per inch that I've ever caught. And the thing looked like it swallowed the world. If you guys checked out on video also, it's pretty cool. I, I I, still have no words for it. It had the pattern of a tiger muskie, but it was really faded. But I think the reason why is because it was so faded is because, like I said, the water color is milky and the limestone down there. So it was down here feeding on the minnows and feeding on fish that swim by. And it happened to just bite my bait. So I kind of got lucky there. Oh, man. Great to be out here, though. Love the sound of the water. It's like meditation. What are your favorite things to do, guys, out here? You know, like I'm saying, like other than fishing, what do you guys like to? Why do you guys come out here for the peacefulness, for the scenery? Like me, I got it all. Peaceful water. You know, so much shoreline to fish. I can always journey. We got the the scenery, the bridge, the skyline, camaraderie when the people are down here. It's, it's everything. You know what I'm saying? You ever know, uh, <clears throat> you can always just look towards the American side too and see how many people are fishing. But right now that shoreline is all locked up. It's all under construction. And uh, I feel for you guys because I fished there before. And that rail over there is one of my favorite rails. Caught some nice, nice giants over there. It's a simple way to fish. A lot of people catch nice fish over there. But right in front of the post office in Detroit, we have to wait a couple of years that it happens again. I was told that uh, it, it's supposed to be like a park or something like that. Somebody messaged me and left it in my comments. I forgot what the name is, who the person was, but thank you. I mean, I've been trying to get answers over there on what they're going to do with that. And I heard it's going to be a park. So hopefully the fishing stays pretty well and they don't change that break wall. That break wall is a really, really fascinating place. <coughs> Man, give me a fish. Give me a fish. So right now, like I said, I'm not even going to stop the video for a moment. I'm just going to keep fishing. Maybe hopefully I catch one for you guys. Uh, some people just want to come out here and just get the report. So like I said, water super clear. I checked on Google this morning and uh, the water temperature is about 36 degrees. If you guys want the numbers, you want to come here at roughly about 43, 44 degrees. If you're looking for that one big mama, like the giant mama, come here at 40 degrees and you'll get the one big mama you know so you gotta have to work hard but if you do get one it's gonna be a giant so like i said there's a few boats that i seen uh catch in front of the renaissance and that's, that was a couple weeks ago but i haven't seen too many posts later in this river yet especially in the upper river let me be the first one to actually open the floodgates for you guys because i if i get one i'm gonna tell you right now this whole shoreline is gonna be like 800 people down here but 
that's what I want. So I'm hoping that I get to see all, all your faces again. There's a lot of people that I miss, that I truly love, and I love fishing with them. Like my buddy Scott Clark, Mark, we got Ray, uh, we got Denny that comes down from Mississauga. Denny, thank you. You gave me some cool hair jigs and stuff like that. I, I appreciate that very much. He's a pretty cool guy. He always comes down with like for a row shares and gives treats to the shoreline and stuff. So like people like that, you know, you just, you, you, you can't pay for those moments. The people that you meet are way more important than just the fishing itself. You know, you can't, they help you make the memories. So that's why I said I like them. I love them. They're awesome. They come down here and uh, just come out here and slay with us. I come out here at six in the morning. Sometimes I'm, you know, have you for a spot and they've already done very well they're like come on in come on in and hook me up with something like that and I, th I thank them that too because me i work very hard i work a full-time job every single day i don't miss days i really dedicate myself to my daughter and then i go home and i work on the baits and everything pack them bring them on the shore and then i have to go and try to hustle them off and, oh man it's just it's crazy it's crazy but you guys really changed my life i mean i get for the better now we got lsc pro tackle which is a store i'm gonna leave it a link in the description below and uh, you guys can order the baits there that's buckfish's headquarters it's gonna be run by alan dean and justin arwam which are great great friends of mine i mean you guys will never never be unsatisfied with them and if you guys want just a conversation for the commodity they're just amazing people you know like you could just go there and you could have fun and you can even chit chat with them online and stuff they're, they're cool cool stuff so lsc pro tackle located in emeryville that's the store where you guys can get all the buck shiners buck fries swim bucks there's buck sankos there's there's everything like everything you match you can even get these tactical fishing rods too which is uh made by my buddy derek sawyer and i just recently got sponsored by them so like they're great rods great price i mean the sensitivity is great he just passed me this off and he's like yo please just test this out for me tell me what you feel about it on shore because he wants to see some shore fishing so i you know what i'm gonna try to make him that promise to catch a lot of fish i really actually want to test this rod and beat it down though he told me to beat this rod down as much as i can and we're gonna find out what this rod truly about you know so if i can get a nice nice fish just to christen the rod great it would be an awesome thing to tell them how does it feel when i'm jigging this rod right now i can feel the bottom nice and perfect the sensitivity is right the backbone is perfect for casting i haven't got the hooks of the fish yet but i'm hoping that i can the handle is actually built like an avid x and for me you guys ever get those hand cramps where you're holding like the rod and it's just too big and it just feels like you're your hand wants to just seize up i get that when i fish a st croix triumph premier uh some of the fenwicks like the fenwick elite tech has a fat handle i can't be doing that <coughs> you know my chopsticks are very very small you know bamboo is very strong but very skinny <laughs> so i like the handle on this he's got the split grip and it actually gives that more sensitivity so perfect rod for the price and the Fluger President Reel. So I'm just trying to cheap out a little bit here. Uh, I'd say this combo is probably worth 250 ish Somewhere around that range total. I mean, you could go cheaper if you like. But from my G Loomis and my Vanfurt to this, I mean, there's not too much of a difference. Except for, i say the G Loomis has a little bit more sensitivity and a more flexible backbone. But overall, for the price, I cannot complain. You know, if you really like your rods, this is going to be my my beater, the one I want to smash on, and I don't have to worry about it. I can uh, do whatever I want with it. It's shorter, so it's six three, so I can fish off a boat a little bit easier and net fish. So when I'm using like a seven two or a seven one, and I'm trying to net a fish, and I have to sit there and try to reach this net out there, dude, I don't want to have that problem. You know what I'm saying? So right here, tactical fishing TFG jigging special if you guys want that uh i'm gonna leave it a link in the description below also you can order for orderbaits.com if you want uh 15 off you can add ha uh a slash buck 
Suspicious 15. And I'll leave that in the link in the description below also. If you guys are in an area, go to LSU Pro Taco. You can get in there too. So let's take... Oh, the duckies are in my way. Got to hold on a second. Got to make sure they pass me. Because sometimes when you catch these ducks, they're a nightmare. <laughs> you guys ever catch a bird? A seagull's crazy. A goose would be the most nuttiest thing. <laughs> I don't want one of those. <clears throat> Come on, duckies, make the baby. <laughs> These ducks are residential. They're here every year. And this is their spot right here. This this rocky shoreline. I guarantee they have a nest inside there somewhere. Because they're always here. But Come on, give me my first one. Are you guys rooting for me? <coughs> I'm rooting for me. I know, no, I know you guys are rooting for me. Because once I do catch one, it opens the floodgates and all you guys will be down here. And that's what I'm looking for. So come on, give me a fish for everyone. Detroit River. Please, please. Very few and far, but if I catch one, it's going to be a giant. Water is much shallower though. Past couple years, you guys find that? I used to be able to actually we had the sock dock up here and it was at the top of the flat section you remember when Pete almost fell in <laughs> I know you guys see that the sock dock now the water is roughly about three feet lower so the shelf is a little bit further you guys have to cast a little bit further just to get to that perfect depth or perfect temperature depth where these walleye are gonna run but right now we're still a little bit early 36 degrees just getting off of work you can see all the car lights are starting to come on and i i just want to get out here and just get take a couple casts i would take a couple casts each day just to find out but for me or anyone that i've seen nothing yet nothing so you guys like to fish a lot of colors and stuff like that what are you guys fish favorite colors and why i like to see in the comments below um me I created a bunch of colors, but I like colors per condition. So I really don't have a favorite color. No, I made a color that, that works on all conditions, which is the buck. And it's a chartreuse belly with the black back. And there's a few other ingredients in there that I uh, kind of keep to myself, but it's a beautiful, beautiful bait. But what do you guys like? You know what I'm saying? So me, if I was going to fish these clear waters right here, you can almost use anything. I, most people like to use natural colors. I like to use chartreuses because they're my favorite colors. Uh, you can almost use anything in this water. When it's like 50-50, I like to start using like the Bloody Marys, the June Bugs. Uh, something with a little bit of greenish color. And if it's super, super dirty, like no visibility whatsoever. I start using like the black silvers, black golds, something with a dark silhouette that uh, the fish will actually see a little bit better. <coughs> Excuse me. But if you use like a green and stuff like that, because the color of the water is going to be like a greenish brown, like a brown sometimes, muddy brown. It's a little more difficult to see it. So they get that little slight one second chance to hit that bait. So when you actually get the black or the black silver, black gold, somewhere around that range, you do very well. And also what I like to do is I like to fish low and slow when it's dirty. Just very, very lightly pick it up, let it drop, hit the bottom slowly, reel your slack slowly, everything is slow. And then when it's actually really, really hot and the water's super clear, just, just crush away. Just hop along the bottom, they will go eat it because you're gonna run into that big pile of fish. Just crush away. But right now, like I said, I'm just gonna go all different types of depths, short, medium, long, and I'm gonna try different tempos until I find a certain tempo. And when I get them on that tempo, I go back and try the same thing. That's how I do it. So you guys see right now, there's a boat right in front of us, a Lund. And they're drifting that shelf. And I'm wondering if they're marking fish because they're at that range. I'm not sure if they have a fish finder, but they're definitely vertical jigging for walleye. So. We'll find out when they get closer to us. I'll ask a couple questions for you guys. See what they're see what they're doing. 
Hopefully they catch something right in front of me. That'd be a good sign too. Just shows that uh, I have potential to catch a fish here at this moment of time. You get to cover a lot of ground so they can tell me a lot. The boats will tell you a lot. You guys pay attention to the boats and uh, see those start hammering fish. It just shows that you can too. So always keep an eye on them. Let's see what they got when they get closer. Come on, fishy, fishy. I am itching for a bite. Come on, biling, one bite. Just give me a bite. <laughs> I'm gonna be so excited when I get it. My first fish, I'm always super pumped. I always let my first fish go also. It's just like a traditional thing for me. So, should be a good thing for you guys too, unless you're traveling down here or you're getting numbers. But if it's a big, big mama, yeah, she's going back. She's definitely going back. Oh man, I'm still trying to find my first one. Yeah, I'm still trying to find my first one. Yeah. Nope. I, I, some of those guys that are posting pictures, I think they're trolling me. <laughs> yeah, I give like the, the perfect report. This is what happened on this day. Oh yeah, with this condition here, it should have been. You got the overcast, you got the clean water, south wind, what, what more can you ask for? 38, 38, 38. Is that what it says, 38? 38. But that's at the top of the water. What's at the bottom? Yeah. You guys marking anything? Oh. Uh, I was hoping that you guys could tell me something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't worry, It'll, soon time. So, yeah. <coughs> so these guys here that just drifted by me. Pardon? Uh, I'm Buck Fishes. Check out my YouTube station, Buck Fishes. Buck Fishes. Buck Fishes. Yeah. Yeah. I slam walleyes off of here. Oh, you guys might see yourself in this video that I have right now. All right, brother. Good luck. Oh, yeah, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> so those guys right there, super nice. Uh, they got a good boat. They told me that they haven't marked any fish over here. And they're still trying to get their first one. So I am hoping that they do because it will build confidence for me. If I see them catch one, I can catch one. <laughs> That's right, bro. <laughs> All right, brother. So cool, cool stuff. Come on. <clears throat> Working so hard for this. Starting to get hungry. We usually do like shore lunches and all that stuff on the shore. That's why I miss Scott, uh, my buddy Z. You know, he comes down, Mark and all them guys. We always do the barbecue. You guys seen that in the videos. The chili, all that crazy jazz down here. A lot, a lot of fun. But man, just thinking about that is making me starving. <laughs> Come on, let me get a walleye so I can just uh, head home. I don't even want to keep it. I just want to throw it back. Please, give me a sign. One sign. Be very excited. A lot of hours in already. All skunks. That's how bad I've been itching. I don't know how bad you guys been itching, but you guys can see it in my videos how bad I want this. Come on and try like crazy. Please.
All right, everyone. I got skunked again. <laughs> if I keep giving you guys skunk videos, you guys are gonna keep watching them. I mean, it's the raw footage. It's the real deal. I try to tell you guys what the water conditions are. So it's more like a report. Water conditions, temperature, which way the wind's coming. Is there any fish caught? All that jazz, you know? So I tried, tried really hard. I tried probably roughly about three hours or so. But the rain's starting to come in behind me. You can see it's starting to darken and I can feel it dropping on me right now. And I don't have my waterproof gear on. So I'm gonna head home, get something to eat, relax for the rest of the night. And I'm gonna keep trying during the week for you guys. And you guys will know when I catch a fish. Cause it'll be on video. So if you guys like that, like, share, subscribe, and uh, catch me on the next episode if you guys want the updated reviews. Also, make sure you check out the link below for LSC Pro Tackle, which where you guys can get my baits from. Uh, it'll be a good place for you guys to actually zone in and order from, and we can actually uh, send it out to you guys, and you guys can use it all over. I would love to see you guys catches, all that stuff. It'll be a new thing for me. And also, uh, the link for the rod that I'm using, the TFG Tactical Fishing Gear, a jiggy special, 6.3, medium heavy action i love medium heavy and they built this rod legitimately for walleye fishing on the detroit river so if you guys are looking for a nice rod that's the spot to get it anyways i have to get you guys on the next one buck off oh but i don't miss you baby